There's been some change in the coaching setup in Salford Reds at the moment. Can you tell us what's going on with that? Well, um, at the moment, Phil Vubers will be taking charge of the first team. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of coaches off at the moment. Uh, Sean, who's, who's not well, and uh, Malcolm Malka, who uh, um, is uh, off for, for a little bit. Uh, so Phil will be taking charge this week, and uh, you know things have been pretty good this week. Is that going to bring a bit more stability to the to the dressing room? Well, we hope so. You know, you know the players have worked really hard this week. There's been a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, you know we're, we're we're very hopeful. Um, how was the mood in the dressing room at the moment? It's all it's all good. All, all the boys have kept together well. Uh, there's a, a bit of stuff uh, going on behind the scenes, but uh, we don't let that influence influences. And you don't, don't take any notes. Don't, of that. No, not one bit. Don't don't read the press. I've, I've never really have done, and don't listen to any negative stuff. It's all positive. I believe in it. Stick together. Uh, all the lads have trained real positive all week, and uh, Peeves has done a great job, and uh, we've all kept together. It's been something that I don't think you could write really when you started a season. You know, your head coach has obviously got, uh, you know, an illness that you know we have, we have to accept. Um, you know, Malcolm Alka, we've had you know a little problem in that area, and uh, you know it doesn't help with your preparation. Yeah. I wanted the final year at the Willows to to be very good. I wanted to go out on a real high. It's been our home for more than ten years, and uh, you know I wanted to pay some respect to you know the Willows. Uh, I call it the old lady of Salford. You know, it's been part of a lot of people's lives for many years, and, and uh, you know, then we arrive at Barton next year. We, you know, we've right gone up one step, and yeah. that's what I wanted. And uh, uh, now it's, uh, you know, we've had some good wins. I've all the admiration for, you know, Phil Vivers and Steve Sims, and you know, the backroom staff who are pulling together, you know, to to make sure that our season doesn't fall away. Mm. How are the new players fitting in um, t- to the Salford squad at the moment? Well, they're fitting in very good. Yeah, you know? I mean, Vinnie Anderson's only just warming up. You know, he's had two, you know, two half games, and and that, and uh, this will be the third time he, he's run out this this time, which is great. Tally as soon as he's come back from injury, and he had half a game last week, and again, you know, they're, they're fitting in good, but they need, you know, they need week in, week out sort of rugby. So, uh, you know, we, we're hoping that uh, you know we can we can keep them pretty healthy. Is there any issues over Faker's conditioning at the moment? And no, he's fine. No, he's fine. He just needs matches. You know, I mean, it's like anything. You can train as hard as you want away from the game, but you can't train for that match fitness. You need to be out there playing week in, week out. Like you say, it's an elite yeah. competition. There's not a lot between the teams. Uh, is there any sort of assurances that you want to give to the fans that that you're you're doing well and you're going to it's going to be a top eight finish this year? Well, that's what we're looking for, you know. And I still hope, you know. I mean, obviously it's hard and it's difficult times, and you know, and, and, and our supporters are good, and you know, we need, yeah, you know, the players need them behind them, and, and and they do get behind our, our our players, and that's fantastic. And you know, the players are doing their best. They're trying. They're starting to gel, and I, you know, I still think that you know, there's a long way to go in this season. I think there's still a lot of wins left in this team.